Hi guys, today I'm here to do my May wrap up and my June TBR. I didn't get through very many books this month. I've been in a really bad reading slump and I kind of just pushed myself to read these books and I didn't end up enjoying most of them. I also haven't been commenting on very many people's videos, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm going to really try and get back into that. I just seem to be in some kind of slump. But I tried my best and these were the books that I read last month. The first book I read in May was House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. This was my TBR jar pick, and I listened to this on audiobook. I was really confused through the first half of the book. There were just so many characters that I had to keep straight, and I just really wasn't enjoying it. But when I got towards the end, I was starting to really enjoy it. I thought this was a really good book, and the ending really made up for it. I gave this one four stars. Then I read What Do You Want to Do Before You Die by The Buried Life. This was actually a TV show on MTV. I never watched the show, but my brother was a big fan. So I checked the book out for him, but it turned out that he actually owns the book. So I ended up reading it, and I really enjoyed this book. This was just little snippets that they had people write in, telling all of the things that they wanted to do before they died. It was a really uplifting book. It was such a quick read because it was just mostly pictures. And I gave this one four stars. Then I read Persuasion by Jane Austen. I had decided to read all of Jane Austen's works this year, and this was last month's pick. I didn't care for this one as much. Again, it was really hard to keep the characters straight, and I really just plowed through it to get through it, and I ended up watching the movie adaptation afterwards, and I liked the movie better. I would like to try and give this another try maybe next year, but I gave this one three stars. Then I read the first book in the Dr. Doolittle series by Hugh Lofting. This was for our little girls book club that we have. And I listened to this one on audiobook as well. I definitely recommend this one. I think this is just a fun, cute little book. I got through it in a couple hours listening to it on audiobook. And I would say that all kids would love this, but the girls in our book club actually didn't like this book. But I really enjoyed it. I gave this one three stars. And the next one I read was Something Beautiful by Courtney Roberts. This is actually my cousin's book, and it just came out a couple weeks ago. This is a self-help book. She struggles with anxiety and depression which apparently runs in the family because I think our entire family has anxiety and depression. But this is just an uplifting book about how she looks on the bright side of life. If you're just looking for something to kind of uplift you, I highly recommend this one. At the end of every chapter, she has a music playlist of the songs that inspire her. I gave this one five stars, mainly because she was my cousin. I probably would have just given this three stars. It wasn't really anything new. But I think it's only 99 cents on Amazon, so if this is something that you think you would enjoy, please go and buy it and support my cousin. And the last one that I sort of read in May was The Readers of Broken Wheel Recommend. This book was actually due at the library, so I had to return it, and that's mainly why I didn't finish it. So I returned it, and I may try it again maybe next year. Now for my TBR for June. The Jane Austen book we picked for this month is Emma, and I have this on Kindle, but I also have it on audiobook. I've heard this one is really hard to read, so I'm really nervous about it, but I like all of the adaptations of it, so I'm hoping that I'm really going to enjoy this one. Then for our little girls book club, we're going to be reading Heidi. I really loved the movie of this as a child, so I'm really hoping that I'll enjoy the book, but I don't own a copy of it yet, so I'm going to have to go buy one of those. I also plan on picking up Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. I joined the Hobb along, and I started this book last month. But I only got about five pages in because I just haven't had time to read it. So I'm really hoping that I can get through this quickly. But today we were supposed to start book two in the Farseer trilogy, which is Royal Assassin. So I'm hoping that I can get through the first one and then maybe find a copy of the second one. Now for my TBR jar, these are all of my classics and modern classics to help get me through some of my classics. Okay, so it says The Scarlet Letter. This is a really short book and I think a lot of people have to read this in school. I think this book is really controversial, but I'm excited to see what I think of it. Okay, those are all the books that I read in May and all the books that I plan on reading in June. I'm really hoping to get out of this reading slump soon. I will leave all of the books that I mentioned down below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!